Now we're gonna talk about coating the sensors into the monitor. First of all, you wanna turn your monitor on and you'll notice that there is on the right hand corner a battery indicator. You wanna make sure that you have this charged. When you get it out of the box, it should be charged, but you should put it on a charger for a little while just to be sure there's enough battery power in the monitor itself. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna code two sensors. If you do have a 507 system, then um, you can get it in the cap or the flow through as we had mentioned. Now, these will work in conjunction with each other. Uh, you could have the cap on your car if you have a towed vehicle that you're towing. Uh, you could have the flow through on your motorhome, let's say, and both will be read on the same monitor. Okay, so keep that in mind. Uh, the 507s will work with the same monitor. So, on the top of the monitor, as I mentioned before, there's five buttons, code mode, minus, plus, and set. In order to get into the coding mode, we're gonna hold the code button down until it beeps. And then we release it. Now, the first thing you'll see is the front tire will be blinking on the monitor. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna code each of these, uh, the flow through and the cap sensor. And the first one we'll use as a cap sensor, we're gonna code it to that front tire, uh, the steer tire on the passenger side, which would be the right side. All you do is just quickly push and release the same code button you just pushed down, and you'll hear a beep. You will now see a six digit code on your screen. That code is unique to the sensor that I just coded into it. Each sensor has a different six digit code so that the monitor can recognize it. Okay, so that one is done. Now we'll move on to the second tire we're gonna code, which in this case is going to be on the left side. It's gonna be the driver's side on the front steer tire. So we're gonna take our flow through sensor and we're gonna just put it up against the monitor after we hit the plus button to go over to that tire. So now we're on the driver's side tire, it's flashing. We're gonna put the sensor up to the bottom. We're gonna again, just quickly, quickly hit the code and release it and we'll get a beep. And that beep means that the code has been accepted and you're good to go. So now we have two of the tires, both front tires are coded in and ready to go. After you code all the tires you need to go code in the different positions, then what you wanna do is just push and release the mode button. When you push and release the mode button, it'll bring you to the standby or the operational uh, look on the screen. So you will now see that there are two tires coded in, the front two tires that we just did, one with the cap sensor and one with the flow through sensor. If you made an error and you coded the wrong tire and you wanna move it to a different position, I'm gonna show you how to take that code off of that tire. So again, you're gonna hold the code button down until it beeps and then release it. Now again, you're in the coding mode. So what I'm going to do is that last tire that I coded, I'm gonna say, I don't really want it in that position. I wanna move it. So what I'm gonna do is just make sure that tire is blinking on the screen and then I'm gonna push the set button and hold it down until it beeps. Instead of a code, you'll now see all Fs going across your screen. All Fs means it's an open tire position, it is not coded. So now when I hit the mode button, we'll go back to just one tire coded and the other tire that I just uh, deleted is, is gone. So that is how you delete a tire and you can do that on any tire at any time if you're in the coding mode. So all you have to do again is hit the set button, hold it down until it beeps and release it. You'll see all Fs come across the screen and then that code is gone. Next, we're gonna set the tire parameters and it's very easy to do. What you wanna do is you wanna hold the mode button, M-O-D-E button, down until it beeps and then release it. After it beeps, you'll be in that uh, parameter setting mode. The first thing you'll see is PSI and you're gonna keep pushing and releasing the mode button quickly as we go through each stage of this. So you push mode again, you'll see an F for Fahrenheit. If you do not see an F on the screen and you see a C on the screen, you will push and release the plus button. That will change from Fahrenheit or from Celsius to Fahrenheit or vice versa. 
what, depending on what you want. If you're from Canada, you'll probably want the Celsius or the centigrade. So then you'll move on, push the mode button again. The next thing you're gonna see is you're gonna see your front axle blinking. We set all our high and low pressures per axle because normally the tires on an axle are the same. So in that regard, you always set your high pressure alarm 20% above your normal tire pressure and 10% below your normal tire pressure for the low alarm. So in that regard, um, if we have say 100 pounds in the tire, then you would set your high pressure alarm at 120 pounds using the plus or minus buttons. So in this regard, we got 120 now. You hit the mode button, you'll go to the low pressure for that axle. You'll set that in this example to 90. And now we're at 90. So your pressures of course will vary because depending on what your normal pressure is your tire, again, always set it 20% above for the high pressure, 10% below for the low pressure alarm. And if you are going into uh, climates that are warm, warm climates, I sometimes would suggest to set that high pressure to 25% uh, above instead of 20%. That'll give you a little more leeway when you're traveling down the road and your tires get a little bit hotter because you're in those higher temperature ranges. Okay, so after you do that, and you do that with each axle, you just keep hitting the mode button, it'll jump to the next axle, you do the high pressure first, low pressure next, and you keep going until you get to the back. You'll notice that all of the tires are blinking on the trailer section of our monitor. On the trailer section, you could set all the tires at one time because typically on a trailer, all the tires are the same. So you'll set the high pressure at 20% above your normal uh, pressure on those tires, and you'll set the low at 10% below the normal tire pressure on those tires. And once you're done with that, doing the high pressure, doing the low pressure, the last thing you're gonna see is a temperature icon at the bottom, and you'll see 158, which is our default temperature. Typically, you wanna leave this at 158. You really don't have to uh, move that. It will go up to 208 if you'd like, but at 208, you probably won't have a tire there because a tire will usually fail between 170 and 200 uh, degrees. So at 158, it's a good early warning system. So leave it at 158, unless you have a special circumstance, and that is the last setup. So in order to save everything, you hit the set button and release it. Just press and release the set button. It is like a save button. It'll save all your parameters and you should be good to go with your monitor. And that is the complete setup of the 507 system.